Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give my honest thoughts on how the project is being ran. And today, I am uh, marginally excited to be checking out the 20, I think it's the 26th most popular project in all of games right now. That is the Modular Table by Wormwood. And I say less excited than normal, which is because I feel like we've just been getting beat down by so many tables. Like, it used to be... It used to be like an exciting thing, like, oh, there's a new table on Kickstarter and GameFound. And now it feels like every other week there's another one. And with Wormwood, I know personally I'm not going to be excited because I know the price is probably not going to be great. Like, it's going to be, they go more for the premium over the um, over the not premium. And if I recall correctly, I'm very interested. I, I believe Wormwood have like a little bit of a controversy uh, a while back. I think I might have covered it. I think I might have did a video on it. Uh, where I think uh, someone in there got accused of something or other, something like that. You can go check out my backlog history. I, I did a video on that. But anywho, a solid wood, beautifully crafted table designed for a dynamic lifestyle, coming in an array of sizes and wood options. Like, right from the jump, it looks like a very basic wooden table. Like, nothing exciting at all. I, I normally expect a little mo bit more, f you know, pizzazz and flair from Wormwood. I think that's what they're really good at, is really selling themselves and selling their products. But this main image is boring. It just looks like a regular old table. With a regular guy, like, zoom in on something. Show me something exciting. Because, oh, okay. But it's already crushed. It's already raised $653,000, which is pretty pretty par for the course for them. They met, they do huge, huge projects most of the time. But as always with the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Am I more excited about the image now? No. Whoever put that wine there. Don't do that. 530. All right, it's a long one. Oh, okay. So we're showcasing a bunch of different styles. Wow. Ooh, easily assembly. That's a Make great shot. Ooh, showcasing Don't accessories. Wow. That's why they wanted to look like a regular table from the outside, because it is, for all intents and purposes, a regular table from the outside. Okay. And I do like this. I do like this uh, This right here, because I, I feel like they're aiming directly at, you know, these parents who are big gamers on Kickstarter, and, you know, it's like, yeah, but if this is, like, your dinner table, then maybe you could spend a couple thousand dollars on the table, right? And if it does some extra extra stuff, well, that's that's just icing on the cake. So I like I like the way they're going with this. That being said, it still looks like a pretty pretty average table so far, Look, which is great. But, you know, nothing, nothing really wowed me yet. No one else can pull like you. No one's got your style. So easily cleanable. That's that's what you're showcasing me there. Oh, oh, there's the guy that runs the company. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I totally did a video on them. So if you want to know more about like the the yeah, because they had the uh, the controversy where like someone was someone who, like maybe allegedly got like bad stuff happening to them at work or something like that. It was a it was I remember covering that one and going into it blind and it was just gut punch after gut punch. If you want to know some behind the scenes like scuttlebutt allegedly from this company, woo, go look for that video. It was it was a rough one to shoot. I remember that. Garlic knots, by the way, get them at Walmart. I don't know if those are exactly the garlic knots, but they're dirt cheap and they taste delicious. Okay. We're getting long here. I feel like we're at the Oscars. We can start playing the music. And now I definitely feel like we're going long. Serve with it. Okay, so once again, we're, we're, the whole goal of the game is to convince you that this is your table. Not just a gaming table, but your table. I like the way they're going with it. Looks good. This feels like a jalop video, by the way. Ooh, there we go. Wow, this really does feel like a tech video. 
Um, so one of the things I used to cover tech a lot at 12:30, and once my my daughter goes back to preschool, it's totally going to be something I do. There's going to be double Kickstarter critiques a couple times throughout the week. But the big thing that tech Kickstarter projects try and do is they try and uh, really have this flashy, a lot of times catchy music videos. Uh, that showcase a little bit to every single person that they believe might potentially be interested in this table. And that's exactly what they're doing here. You got the, you got the dungeon master, you got yourself uh, the board gamer, you got yourself the family, the, the stay at home parents, you got yourself the Lego collector, you know, everything is accounted for here. And I do love this shot. Uh, whew, that would be such a fun coffee table to have. I almost feel like that one was specifically aimed at people with kids. Because one of the things, my kids love getting Lego sets. But the thing is, they put them on the floor. They put them stupid places where it's obviously going to get, like, ruined. So I think that's where they're like, hey, you can put it here. And you don't have to listen to your kid cry because, you know, the dog or the cat knocked all their Lego pieces out of the way. And now they're never going to be able to build their Buzz Lightyear. I feel that. I feel that hard. <laughs> Miniatures Gamer, Warhammer 40K, Isk. Wow. Whoa, okay. Teflon Don right here. Good for him. So I remember he was, uh, I think he might have been at the, the the center of the controversy. At least I think that was it. Uh, and so he's still there. Good for him. Puzzle enthusiast. And I still remember in the, in the, in the video saying, and I literally said it, People are like, oh, Wormwood's going to be in trouble. No, Wormwood's not going to be in trouble because they're good at making Kickstarter videos. And people are going to have a short memory. And there's always new people in the hobby. And at the end of the day, people don't want to know. We're back on Kickstarter, baby. Ooh, we made it clean the first shaven. Two rounds. We are back for round three. And we are better than ever. What do we have? Personal touch. We've got new storage options. Whoa. We've got new chairs. And mm -hmm. we have new, more affordable accessories. Mm. So let's jump in. Okay. Now, you might be asking, why does everyone want a Wormwood modular table? It's very simple. They're hot. It's that dedicated yeah. space for that thing you wish you had space for. Whether it's a hobby, or your kid's schoolwork, or you just need room in your life, the Wormwood modular table has got hey, you covered. There are a few points you should be aware of. Point number one, the rail accessories. Our table features magnetic rails on the inside and outside of the table that allow you to customize your table to fit what you're doing. Mm. If you have a hobby or a need, we probably have an accessory that They're fits They're so good at it. And we have a video where we deep dive each and every one of those accessories down in the Kickstarter page. Good thing I got Number my monopoly two, there. These tables are made by us here in America. We have two workshops. America! One is in Pennsylvania and the other is in Massachusetts and there are no middlemen between us and our customers. Big thing this for means a lot of people. Plus shipping is going to be Lot, um, you're supporting the craftsmen of this less company. Crap shoot, I think? You have a problem with your table. We are the folks that can fix your issue. And we have a video linked below that shows you exactly how we build Brilliant. each of these tables. Beautiful. Number three, let's talk about materials. 100% solid wood, 100% of the time. We have 12 different wood options to match a variety of styles and budgets. These are durable, solid, and long-lasting tables. If you're interested in learning more about our wood selection, Ugh. we have a video that you can check out where we go over all the wood. I, I, I swear to you, someone at that company watches my videos. I just, sometimes I watch Kickstarter videos and I'm like, and, and I'm not always sure of that because because I steal ideas from tons of Kickstarters, but then other Kickstarters take ideas from my videos, which are essentially just stealing it from other Kickstarters. And it's not stealing, it just means you're making a great product uh, project. But it's just, man, this is hitting every knot. Uh, I really like it. Wood options we are offering. That's not even an expression. Tell how much also I like it. Also, have another video where we put these tables through some extreme Ooh, stress tests. Love it. So you can see yes. It. All right. I have an announcement to make. Cue. God dang it's so good. Music. Thank you. I and it should be so good because that was one of the things I remember. Uh, if you're more interested in Wormwood, just in general, they have their own YouTube channel, and it's like got professional video editors and stuff like that, and like. It shows. It shows. I, Douglas Costello, with the powers vested in me, have hereby ratified the Wormwood Affordable Chair Act. For the first time ever on Kickstarter, we are offering chairs to match your table. And we have two types of chairs. We have our solid wood heirloom chairs, and we also have our starter chairs. And because we believe all Americans deserve quality chairs, I have hereby ratified the Wormwood Affordable Chair Act, an act which states 
that if you purchase a set of starter chairs and wish to upgrade those starter chairs at a later date, we will give you a serious, hefty, and patriotic discount on those heirloom chairs. God bless America. Okay, cool. Wasn't that excited about the chairs, but at the end of the day, it's still a nice gesture, and they're spotlighting it, which they should be, because if you are interested in chairs, then that's good. Like, like oh, cool, that's nice. <laughs> After digesting all this content, I'm assuming you're ready to back this project and get in Crushed line it. for our 2024 build. Let's talk about price. Our standard six per do I want it? How much is it? Can you? So do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? That's what you need to convince every Kickstarter backer. In this video, do I want it was answered right in the first two minutes. Every single possible niche that might be interested in this table or a whole bunch of them were addressed bit by bit by bit by bit by bit. And if you have crossover into more than one of those, then obviously like, wow, this thing looks great. Can you do it? Yes. They have, we have videos on the page about how they're built. They're built in the United States of America. This, that, the other thing. We got a stress test. Here's a guy hitting it with a sledgehammer. Crushed it. Then how much is it? We're actually going to be addressing it into the video. I love their video. I do. I love this video. I think this video is spectacular. This is a two third of a point grade bump up. And I'm dare saying going with a full point grade bump up. Cause at the end of this, if you have that kind of disposable income and you're looking for a table, what's to stop you? The only thing I have the, the track record that, I mean, I uh, hopefully they spotlight their track record. Cause I know that's really positive as well with uh, how the tables are. I know, I know, I think two people that have wormwood tables, they're both very happy with them. Um, which I know is a small sample size, but I've heard a lot of other good things from people I don't know. Person dining table with a topper comes in at nineteen ninety nine. dollars With our payment plans, that means you can have this table for as low as $200. Yes, yes, yes. If Kickstarter is too stupid, stupid Kickstarter. You know, I like to do that at GameFound because someone at GameFound, I actually believe, sees those. Like someone at Wake and Realms is like shaking their fist like Alex from Board Game Code. like, damn it, Forrest, shut up. Uh <laughs> Or laughing and secretly agreeing. Uh, but the bottom line is Kickstarter is stupid and they don't steal this layaway program. And I actually remember, oh my gosh, I was talking with someone who was like friends with the people from Kickstarter. And they're like, yeah, they don't want to do it because it's it's a vulturistic practice. They're like, whatever, shut up. They want to do it because they're lazy. Even though we, uh, C. Goody mentioned they did have a big thing they just announced today, which is a step in the right direction. I don't think it's amazing, but still, for companies, I think it's amazing. Well, let's keep going. I do love the fact they're spotlighting this. It just keeps getting better and better. Dollars per month. And as a Kickstarter exclusive, we've designed... Yeah, $200 a month is not too shabby. Sean just said it, and that's how you convince people. You, th It's not just that we have stretch pay. It's, hey, here's how it could work out. Can you, can you afford this much extra over the next year? Yeah, you, maybe you can. If you're watching this video and you're seriously considering getting a table, smoking down thousands of dollars on the table, that's probably something you probably can do. So I just, this is such a well done video. Design some bundles to simplify your decision making mm. that get you a nice discount on a full set of accessories. Boom. Whew, it is time to get a little bit sentimental. I want to take this moment to sincerely thank okay. all of the backers that have supported our company throughout the years. This is our 25th Kickstarter, or maybe it's our 26th. I don't even know. It's been a lot and we've come a long way and it's because we have been supported by folks like you. You know, we've, we've built over 10,000 of these tables. We are looking forward to building. It's still him talking, don't worry. And so Is thank there? you for going on this journey with us and we will see you in the comments. Okay, so uh, as amazing as that video was, I do, like if you're one of those people who wants to uh, shop with your, uh, <laughs> Shop with your morals, I guess you might say. I would recommend checking out the video that I did. Uh, and I'll post it down the link below. Uh, not soon for work. What's happening with Wormwood? And then I, it was such a popular video that I actually did a follow-up video. And if you follow my channel, you know I never do follow-up videos. But I did because it was such a fascinating and terrible, terrible story. But it was just it was so surprising. All right, so what do we got? A bunch of the chat. Uh, would love to have him... Would love to have a gaming table with this kind of topper, but no chance to get it down here in Brazil without selling a couple of kidneys, part of my liver, and perhaps an eye or two. Do they take these part of the liver? Because that's not bad. Like, can I just do like a quarter liver? How much liver do you really need? Uh, 27 created 105. Mormon has grown from a three friends in a small workshop to a thriving community of dedicated craftspeople who create through accessories for your furniture and hits your lifestyle no matter what it may be since 2000, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, only one person in the customer service here. So hopefully Robert's account is being spread around. Because uh, otherwise, that's... That's concerning, and I'm sure they probably have a bunch of people in here. Um, can you do it? I mean, I'm not I'm not worried about it. Oh, it's the exact same. Look at that. It's the exact same thing. How do they get away with that? I thought you were supposed to change it up. That is like... Ex that is. I guess if you're making Kickstarter million-dollar projects, they really don't care. 
There's the haves and the haves nots. On a side note, you'll log to Warcraft Rundle and make me leader of the head of the clan. We had a small revolt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I apologize for that. ADHD is a hell of a drug. All right, so uh, March Fulfillment Update. I don't know why I'm looking at this. Can you do it as yes? They've been doing it for a very long time, and honestly, I'm not particularly worried about it, but but, but let's make sure. Let's make sure they did the stuff. Groundskeeper. Uh, what is these? Poker cards? A poker collection? Yeah, I'm sure they didn't have that much problem putting out a poker collection. Okay, you get it. So let's make sure that the... Uh, this one, though. For issues about a checkout or bugs and curse, please... Yeah, great. Pin it. Makes sense. Uh, doo -doo, doo -doo. Another invitation shortly. Hi, creative. Responded to your email. It only made a week for a reply back. Anyway, I have no idea why the prism deck that I brought is not showing up. Uh, it only takes a week to get back, so that's not terrible. Okay. My ca my internet is being slow, so we will come back to that. But honestly, I'll vouch for him on the can you do it. All right. Never back to Kickstarter before. Click here since it's released in 2020. The Wormwood Modular Table is one of the most popular gaming tables of all time, offering a winning combination of thoughtful design. Ooh, look at that. So many things to click on. I have to scroll. Beautiful. Using your space properly. Uh, everything you need to know about the table. If you are watching this video, you are probably looking for some information. So I Cool. Metal strip that is multiple... Now, normally he's the star of the show in these videos. I wonder if they if they're like, hey, you got to take a back seat for the time being, you know, while you're, while, you know, stuff's going down. Uh, deep dive into the table, stress test, man, sixteen minutes. We need a shovel. Hurry, hurry, over here! Oh my god! That's how you start off a video. <laughs> That's how you start off a video about a board game table. Brilliant, just brilliant. Everything here is great. All right, uh, see if you in the comments. I think that only applies for failed Kickstarters late relaunch. Not that I'm condoning it, but livers grow back. <laughs> Click here to build your table. They take you to the off-site off website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I remember them doing something like this uh, b back before. So they only have one pledge level, right? No, this time they actually have more. So we have seating and accessories only, no table. So that's like the returning backers. And this is a fun one. And then the modular gaming table. So this is new backers, 778. So two to one people coming back for more accessories and the chairs and whatnot which is it's great i'm not going to read too much into this like you would normally the deluxe versus the standard pledge because obviously they're doing things completely differently and actually uh i, I told a, i told a customer of mine to study how they do this because he has a really cool upcoming project uh at the company that i work at and uh, i think they should really steal the how they do this it's not tables at all but it's um i think it would work includes the table topper topper storage 500 dollars in accessories wow table bundles Okay, $22.49, $29.99, $31.99, $41.99, 8-person tables. I mean, I can't complain about anything. They let off with this link, and I can make my table. Let's see if I can actually make my table. If I can make a table. Oh, seats 8 to 10. I want the big one. Oh, man, how big can we get here? Coffee table, counter height, standard dining. Wow, do I want it high? I love being underneath the table. Give me those extra 5 inches. Man, this is fun. This is a fun shopping God, it's so expensive. Ah, okay. Go back to the regular one. Ooh. Ooh. This is fun. Look, my table's right there, y'all. See how great. Like, they get it. They get it so well. And then, because uh, once again, Kickstarter's stupid. I'm like, yeah, we're not going to do, we're not going to do layaway. Because whatever. Uh, they're like, yeah, we'll just go with a firm who I think does a lot of stuff with Amazon. This is brilliant. Great. This is how you sell a table. Whew. But honestly, I'm happy with the $200 fold-out coffee table. As cool as this, I think I'd rather build my own table. True that. True that. Uh, I built I built one once. I did a video about it. Uh, it was very satisfying. 6 to 8, 72, large, the hexagon, seat 6. This is so good. Oh, my gosh. But what if you spill? Magnetic rail system, wood options. Look at all the colors zoomed in. Easy assembly, the seating, the affordable chair act. Heirloom set of four. God, those chairs. As someone who quite literally has gotten most of their chairs in their house out of the garbage, and that is not me being hyperbolic, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, whew, whew, it's, it's eye-opening that people pay money for chairs, you know? <laughs> Magnetic rail accessories. It's just because most of the time they can be fixed with just some, some gorilla tape, you know? Not hard. How is KA doing late pledges and not stretch pay? That's so baffling to me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they're doing that. 
Uh, but let's talk about that. The, uh, the the late pledges, I think, is brilliant. I think it's good. It's one of those ideas that they just needed to copy from GameFound because, duh, as a company, it makes you like it because then people can still just go back there and buy it relatively easy on the website. So you can still be like, hey, go check out the Kickstarter page after the fact. And as a consumer, you know, awesome too. Now, the only thing I hope is I hope they don't do the stupid thing that GameFound does where they like have them all interweave together and you're like, wait, is this live or is this not live? Just make it like its own separate little area. Like go, ch go, ch go shopping. You know, if you don't, you don't want to wait, go check out these, which are, you know, in the process of coming out or something like that. I think I could spin it well. Crumb combat kit. Man, I need that. Neoprene mats, vaulted sidebars, cork coasters. Okay, fine. I mean, just along for the ride. This is a fun ride. What is it? Continental US. Wow, that is some dang good cheaping. Shipping. Cheaping. It's dang good cheaping. Heirloom chairs. Oh, that's per chair. Oh, you did some sneaky stuff there. Table. So two hundred dollars. Wow. That's that's like those chairs. <laughs> totally out on the chairs even more now but just for the table that's fantastic delivery eta if you're in these bad number of backers fall winter spring so you want to you want to you want to get there early love it wow trash making for the win absolutely absolutely freaking lootly especially at like places that are like nice places where they get rid of stuff pretty like nice neighborhoods and hospitals and stuff where it's like oh there's a tiny tear in this this rolly chair like yeah throw those in the dumpster i'll come grab it i remember literally I, I took one out of the dumpster at the hospital and then i rolled myself probably about six blocks <laughs> to where i worked because i used to go after i used to go on walks yeah uh ooh, uh come on man Watch the show more. I'd organize this like Reload for Colossal Games or a whole bunch of other companies that are doing it now because if your question's 32, guess what? You're going to read through 32 questions. How's that fun for you? It's not. All right, updates. So that's the first negative thing I feel like I've really had to say about this, except for if you worried about their track record, like on a personal level, maybe go check out that video. And that was all, if I recall correctly, that was all like scuttlebutt, but it seemed pretty damning. I don't remember anything about it because I don't, you know, once I shoot a video, I'm, I'm out. I don't remember much about it, but I remember it was a gut punch for sure. Any chance to grid an EP mats with stuff? I live in San Francisco. Look at this. So here's the comment section. People bringing stuff up. Probably not. Look at that. Pushing right through it. Hobby pretends like they care. You go on Twitter. There's a new controversy every single, every single couple days. Like, oh my gosh, this person is terrible. This thing they did. And they may very well be like that. But at the end of the day, there's so many of the people just forget. That's a short memory. And I'm in no way saying that anything they did was right. And I don't I don't even remember what it was at all. But it's just, that's just the nature of the beast and the hobby. We have an armrest shown in the offerings, but there's zero mention of anything I could find. Uh, that's all the information we've got so far. Go to the 620 mark. Cool. In here doing good customer service. Are they? Yeah. Okay. All right. Final grade is really solid. I mean, I routinely give them A's. I think I gave them an A+, plus, one of the few rare A-pluses out there. And this is no no exception. That video is a full point grade bump up. And I can't think of a full, anything that I would say, like their FAQ sucks. Like there's the FAQ. And once again, that's on Kickstarter. Just one of those ideas. Just steal it from GameFound. Just make this searchable. Just just get over with. Just, just do it already, Kickstarter. Stop being stupid. But if that's the biggest nitpick that I can find on this project, I got nothing. It was literally, it was a fun, enjoyable thing to make my table. And then it sends me right back to the website. Ooh, that's nice, too. That's nice, too. So that's essentially you clicking on this Kickstarter twice. Mm, good for them. So at the end of the day, I think it's an A. Is it an A+. Plus? No, that main image sucks. But that's it. That's all I got. Their main image sucks and their FAQ sucks. Other than that, I have nothing to complain about. So this is just a straight up A. Once again, the modular table by Wormwood. They show exactly why they've been around for how long they have been around. Because I, I, if I recall correctly, it was like a Kotaku article. Like it was a pretty big deal. And it's just no mention of it here. Completely gone. Moving on. Probably going to hit a million bucks. Good for them. A for the modular table by Wormwood. If it looks like it might break up a tea, be sure to check this one out. And right after this video is over, I'll be posting that link down below if you're more interested in finding the behind the scenes stuff of with what happened with Wormwood. Because I don't remember. I might actually go listen to that video again too. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye bye.